Hey, it's been a while. Nick and I just got back from a five mile walk and I'm hot and sticky and swollen and sweaty and thinking to myself, I gotta make a video about Florida. You guys have been asking me if I'm going to convention and I'm not going this year. I'm so sorry, have a blast. Learn tons of stuff on my behalf. I can't wait to see all the excitement. You guys getting all pumped up over a convention. I know it's gonna be a blast. Timing just wasn't right for me this year. But I am a Florida resident. I don't live in Florida all the time. In fact, in the summertime, I try to avoid Florida like the plague because it's so hot and so humid. I think it's kind of the, it's kind of the heat and humidity that you think you're prepared for, but until you're there, you really can't fathom it. So I thought on my walk, I was like, I really need to make a video and help these people who are on their way to convention in Florida, especially if you've never been to Florida before, and especially if you're gonna be hitting any theme parks, maybe I can give you some tips to sort of survive a little. Your clothing should definitely be lightweight and flowy and gauzy if at all possible, um, especially if you're sensitive to the sun. Keep yourself covered but in lightweight clothes. The weird thing about Florida is if you're inside, you might be absolutely freezing. So having a really gauzy lightweight shawl, which can also double as a bathing suit cover up, these things fold down to nothing. It's just a really, really thin scarf, really. It's about three feet wide and about six feet long and you can pop it into your bag and have it with you at all times. It can be a beach cover up, it can be a shawl to throw over your shoulders in the cold, you know, especially if you're going in from freezing cold inside and then hot outside. You don't want to be, you know, wearing too many layers because especially structured clothing, anything that's like layers or a jacket or anything with a thick fabric, you're going to feel like you're suffocating and you're gonna be sweating a lot. So ditch the Spanx and go for a light flowy dress. With that in mind, I don't know about you, but you know, even as thin as some of you are, I know that chafing is an issue when it's humid out. So if you've ever used anything like this, Gold Bond has a friction defense, and this is, it's kind of like a deodorant stick. It's not deodorant, but it's a, it's a friction guard. So you can put it under your boobs, under your bra where it might rub, or between your thighs where it might rub. Um, it even is good on your feet if you've got sandals, and that's the thing with humidity is that your your body tends to retain a lot of water, even if you're drinking a ton and you've got your bottle of water with you all the time. There's something about heat and humidity that just makes you retain water and swell up, so make sure your shoes are really broken in well, and if you don't want to use this on your feet, you can use Band-Aid came out with a friction relief stick too and this is really helpful to put on your heels or on your toes where your thongs might rub or your sandals might rub because if your feet swell up and then there's rubbing and sweating you may not expect it to be that way because your shoes might fit you a certain way where you are where you live now when you get to Florida especially when you're walking around in the heat there may be friction. A stick of deodorant might work too, not the gel kind, but the stick kind. So if you get a travel size of like little tiny deodorant, like little travel stick deodorant, that um, that works too and it helps cut down on sweating as well. But you want something that glides that will give you that anti-friction barrier and it just kind of lubes you up a little bit but without being sticky and without being uncomfortable. These really help a lot and they make a huge difference especially with bra straps that rub, shoes that rub, thighs that rub, etc. So definitely helps there. Also it really helps to wear waterproof makeup. I know it sounds kind of ridiculous because you're like I'm not gonna wear makeup to the pool. It's not about that. In Florida, your makeup just melts, so keep it light. Maybe just a light tinted moisturizer and stuff that doubles as, you know, can be lip and cheek together. So like these little chubby crayons that are lip, like little lip crayons, even if you just dab a little bit on your cheeks and rub it in with clean fingers on a clean face, you know, a little bit on your lips clean. Um, these things really travel very well. They're super portable. They work really well. They don't really come off with the, you know, how your skin just melts if you're wearing a lot of makeup. And waterproof mascara, totally go with waterproof mascara all the way because just, just sometimes standing outside and sweating, the your eye makeup's just gonna run. So go light on the makeup and use waterproof products like that. And chubby sticks like this for lips and cheeks are great because they double up. You can pop them in your bag. You can also keep a charger for your phone. This is a little, you know, an Apple charging cable, and this is a this happens to be a Nutrient brand, but there's so many different portable 
charging devices. This one will charge two things at a time, USB charges. So phones, iPads, you know, if you need a portable charging on the go, this is really, really helpful. I keep one with me all the time and I got the little miniature one foot cable from Apple Store. This was 19 bucks. But you know, if you just keep a couple of charging cables with you, you can help yourself and a friend in a pinch if you need extra juice as things go. Um, I would also recommend keeping a lip balm, just a really simple lip balm. Get sunburn on your lips and all of that stuff, so keep a, keep a lip balm handy. The other thing is sunscreen. Now you're not, probably not going to want to travel on the plane with sunscreen, but stop at Walgreens or CVS or you know somewhere and grab yourself some sport spray, the kind that um, I don't know. I just get yourself some sunscreen. I'm not going to tell you what kind to get, but I like the sports kind because it doesn't um, sweat off so easily and doesn't swim off so easily. But the broad spectrum stuff works really well. Make sure that you watch yourself for the sun rays. The sun rays in Florida are very strong. Um, also, the mosquitoes are ferocious. So this is another thing that you'll have to pick up while you're there. But um, I like the dry formulas. Now, I happen to need DEET formulas. I know DEET is absolutely the devil. DEET is a horrible, horrible, horrible chemical. But it's the only thing that keeps the mosquitoes off of me. And in Florida, the mosquitoes can be absolutely ferocious and huge. So I highly re recommend the dry kind of um, spray because it's not oily. It doesn't leave a residue on your skin. And it kind of disappears right away. And it works. If you don't want to carry a spray, and you want to have something that lasts a really, really long time. This is the stuff we used in India. It's from Ultrathon, and it's a lotion. Now, it does go on a little bit greasier, but it really, really protects, and it protects for a really long time. Um, I love this stuff. I know you're going to be out for a really long time, and you don't want to be reapplying over and over again. This stuff is amazing. I did buy this on Amazon, but I know some um, camping, so I think REI carries this. Maybe some other um, sporting goods stores carry this ultra carry-on size. So you could pop this into your little quart size bag and take it on the plane with you if you needed to. But keep it away from food for sure. This stuff is really nasty, very, you know, toxic pack a water bottle with you even if it's an empty one pack it with you and fill it up all the time and keep it with you stay stay hydrated definitely keep the water going for sure. it's gonna be hot in Florida and if your head sweats at all you know I just got back from a five-mile walk practice hairstyles that you know take no effort you know maybe master a couple of braids a couple of little updos where you can just throw your hair up really quickly and and be comfortable and cool if you've got long hair and your head sweats your hairstyles are gonna fall so you know don't put a ton of effort Florida's a really really casual state so you know I don't know what the Take Shape for Life conference rules and regs are as far as wardrobe and and how you're supposed to look and dress I'm sure everything is very professional be comfortable too and Florida is very very hot so if your hair sweats keep your hair up out of your face away from your face um, have low expectations for maintaining any curls or straightening if your hair is straight it chances are it won't stay curled if your hair is curly chances are it won't stay straight so just one Warning you, your hair may give you some trouble while you're there. So throw it up in a braid if you can. A couple of clips, ponytail, pretty barrettes, you know, whatever, but keep it out of your face. You'll be a lot cooler. They do make these gel pack like neck um scarves that you can wet underwater that will cool you down. So if you're hitting the theme parks, I highly recommend one of those. They really bring your body temperature down a lot and watch out for alcohol in the sun. Um, it definitely doesn't mix. You can really, really get sick if you're overheated and you're drinking alcohol. So drink your water, okay? That's all I can tell you for now. I hope you guys have a wonderful time in Florida and Orlando and I hope your kids have fun if you bring them too. Um, sorry I'm going to miss you guys this year. I will be thinking about you all in spirit and stay tuned real soon because I'm going to be doing a giveaway later today or later this week. So pay attention for that and because uh, since our last video I hit over 4,000 subscribers so it's time to do a fun giveaway again. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Go drink some water.